We just start by pretending that we have a part of us that has made and will continue to make mistakes or cause you to make mistakes. The, everybody has this part. Have you ever heard yourself, you know, or somebody else say something like this? Well, there's a part of me that wants to do this and there's another part of me that wants to do that. That's what I mean by a part. So imagine you have this mistake maker part. You, you are awesome on your own without it, of course. You know how to perform, you know how to think perfectly, but sometimes the mistake maker part does its thing and causes you to make mistakes. Well, here's what you need to know. It's doing that for a very good reason. So you can learn. So having a mistake maker is actually a great story to tell yourself when you screw up. Blame the mistake on the mistake maker. Go ahead and get angry at it. Get, get upset about it. Whatever you need to do and then forgive it. Yeah. That's right, that's what I said. Forgive your mistake maker. When you forgive your mistake maker, you are dropping what would be mental baggage. And the effects of that mistake can never hurt you ever again. Why in the world people want to carry around their heavy baggage and not let it go is beyond me. Your mistake maker is helping you with mastering your sport, improving through making mistakes. You never have to make the same mistakes again. You'll always continue to make new mistakes. And those help you get better and better and better. Michael Jordan said about his workouts that summer after being cut, quote, Whenever I was working out and got tired and figured I ought to stop, I'd close my eyes and see that list in the locker room without my name on it. And that usually got me going again. His story and attitude turned him into one of the greatest basketball players of all time. Now, it could have destroyed him if he let it, and that's happened to many young athletes. But you have a choice of stories about anything that happens to you. It's especially your mistakes. You know what to do now, don't you?